Hmm. Well, I should probably get the chat hooked up. Hello. Amogus. Uh, let's see. Boy, the aspect ratio on this emulation. Quite intriguing. How you going? Sure, I'll allow it. Yeah. A couple things I still need to work out, but let's accelerate here. There we go. Turn on the lights at the bottom there. Oh, do I need to use the mouse? No. Exhibition. Uh, so, uh, not WinUAE per se, because pretty much all the emulators have produced cores um, that can be used in RetroArch. So this one's actually in RetroArch as well. And there's some downsides to that, but for the most part, it, uh, it's generally a good thing. Oh boy, this is absolutely struggling. So yeah, I, I'm launching the, uh, well, I'm running this inside RetroArch and launching it from, uh, from LaunchBox, and frankly, I've had worse experiences, you know. It's been known to happen. In fact, I, I actually got a, a pretty neat, um, oh, this even has mouse support. I didn't realize that. Um, enter the protection code. Okay, now let's see if this is cracked. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. Oh, right. Um, in order to safely enter keys, I have to press a hot key. What is it? Uh, hot key mapping. It is. No, not here. Sorry. I just set this up. Uh, I spent the last two hours setting this up. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, hot keys, hot keys, hot keys. That's our boy. Uh, hot key. Toggle, 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 toggle. Whoa. Where is it? Was it up there? Heavens to Murgatroyd. Uh, grab mouse, this up menu. Uh, oh, wait, F1 gets you out of the menu? I did not know that. So that's hotkey enable hold. But there's supposed to be one that's, uh... There's supposed... To, there, there, there's one that, that turns the hotkeys on and on. Or blech, on and off. Uh, it's somewhere else. There's some specific place for it. Oh, this is going to kill me. I, I set this up really easily the last time I did this, and I thought it would just be right there. And it should be this. Ah. Uh, hotkey enable. This is, it's supposed to be here. Damn it. Ha <laughs> Ah, uh, crap. Where's the thing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, like, I think you can actually swap escape and F1 if you want. Like, I don't see what... You know what? Can I probably a bad idea but yeah so I do that and then I go up to oh my god can I finally make this not annoying I'm gonna screw this up every time I use a uh, my girlfriend's computer but yeah look at that oh that's so much better oh game focus yes yeah that's the one thank you that's what I was looking for there we go game focus okay and it is not cracked Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. What's with that key repeat? 
Huh. <laughs> I admit I, I don't know anything about Amiga DOS. I really need to... Uh, I gotta get my own Amiga. I talk shit on the platform all the time, and it does deserve it. But I really need to spend some time using the real thing. If anybody has an Amiga that they want to sell, please get in touch. Alright. Um, well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, as far as I'm concerned, WinUAE doesn't have a GUI built in, because the goddamn thing is so unpleasant to use uh, that I don't actually want to do it. So I don't. Alright. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, right, I'm in game-focused mode. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay. <laughs> now, um, part of my layout isn't working because the, the game, the title of the game doesn't appear up here. Oh, I guess I can fix that. I can fix that. What am I saying? Uh, it does appear. It just doesn't appear in the same exact place. So, give me a sec. Give me a sec. How do we fix this? Uh, we do... There we go. Oh, that's not large. That's that's the other thing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're cooking with ass. That's right, baby. We got metadata. Yeah, there we go. All right. How good is the 3D pool game? Well, let's just find out. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll get rid of Cat Jam for now, especially because I have, yeah, he's only supposed to be there when there's a good jam going, and so far we haven't gotten one. Although he might come back in a moment. Let's get ready. Hey, Benjamin. How's it going? Okay, 3D pool pictures. What's that about? Is that just going to be some pictures? Also, um, you may notice me looking up a lot, and that's because, um, well, here, I'll just, I'm just going to briefly show you. If you pay attention to the webcam area, uh, you'll be able to see that I have a new setup now where I've got uh, a 4K TV, because I didn't have a 4K monitor at all before, um, so I didn't have any way to actually preview my videos uh, for my channel at their native resolution. Um, so, a uh, friend... Uh, gave me this, although I may have to give it back. <laughs> Long story there. Um, but uh, his, his monitor he replaced it with broke almost immediately, so I may need to give this back. Um, but for the moment, I've got this triple display setup, and uh, this guy being up here, I can actually pull it down, but then it would obscure my OBS layout. So when I'm actually playing games on it, if I'm doing that, then I pull it down, but at the moment, that's not convenient. So... <sighs> uh, oh man, does the Amiga have sweet jams? The Amiga is the home of sweet jams in bad games. Um, it's, uh, it's absolutely what it's all about. So, Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a gift player. That's kind of what I figured. And if I hit... Um, i got to focus the window here. If I hit, uh, what, enter? It's weird, the, the floppy disk is still running. Oh my god, is it streaming this? If you just leave this in here, I think it'll just destroy your floppy drive eventually. Uh, let me turn on game focus. There we go. Okay, nothing. Alright. Um, so let's go ahead and restart. <laughs> there we go. And we'll play 3D pool. And I'll bet uh, the emulator does do that if you don't if you start it up without a game. Um, and what I'm not sure about is I don't know whether the real steel does that. Or if it always shows the kickstart for a moment before uh, starting the game. Oh, are we about to get a bop or no? Nope, just sound effects. All right, so I'm guessing we're not really going to get anything approximating uh, good music from this because, generally speaking, uh, games on this platform are, e uh, are either they either have sound effects or music. So, oh, I have to set my mouse to low DPI to use this, and this is actually a mouse-based game. Whoa! Ooh, that is not fast. <laughs> All right, so what? Do I right-click to close that? Yes, I do. All right, place the cubel. So 
so is this uh it says place the cue ball but I've uh I, I haven't I done that isn't it right there do I I don't seem to be able to move it oh but I'm adjusting my like I'm adjusting my my the location I'm gonna hit it and the power so but then it doesn't do anything so how do I make this happen uh, well let's turn on game focus mode in case it's keyboard based oh there we go it's a double click got it all right. I'm suddenly realizing that these balls only come in two colors. Are we going to scratch? Ah, we scratched. We scratch. Free ball. Look at all this stuff going on up here. Looking. Thinking. Oh, it's the AI's turn. That's what's going on. Mighty Mike is playing. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and accelerate that. I want to watch his turn. Really? Is he just gonna is he just gonna run the board? Okay, there we go. Uh, run the table. There we go. I know. I know. I know how sports work. This is a sport, right? You know, I wouldn't really say this is doo doo. I, I'd say this is actually fairly reasonable. Okay. Um, it doesn't run super fast, but nothing could at this time. Oh, wait a minute, what? Oh, he's still playing. Oh, okay. Okay, he finally, he finally screwed up. Took long enough. Alright, and I think I gotta hit the red ball. Uh, I probably can't do that. No, that's gonna clip the yellow one. There's no line of sight. Okay. Okay, and now he's gonna wait. What's he doing? Oh, weird. Oh, I thought he was gonna scratch for a second. That would have been kind of funny. AI to scratch. Um. Oh boy. Uh, I guess I could do. I think that angle's pretty much impossible. Oh, scratched it too. Uh, this is emulating an Amiga 500. Oh no, what did you do, uh, Comp Geek? Did you, uh, did you hose it? Bad luck, player one. Alright, I got wrecked. Okay, now, to be, to be honest... I've committed a crime because I did not do what was requested of me, uh, which is, hey, is this it? Yes, this is it. Okay. Yeah. My girlfriend gave me a lot of help getting this running, and so she demanded the first game I play is Donk the Samurai Duck. Oh, hello. Guess what, everyone? Hello. Come here. Look, look, everyone. Look. She's here. She's present. She's at the... Oh. Uh, Comp Geek, I do not remember what Amiga Forever is. But if you want to send me that, I'm sure I'll use it. <laughs> Udon. You know what? Udon. He 
see it? You see it, Udon. You gonna go for it? No? No, oh, she doesn't feel like laser right now. Well, that's fair. The paid Amiga emulator? <laughs> okay, alright, sure. That sounds like kind of a, a shit show, but let's go. Udon, Udon, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, don't you want to go up? I know you want to go up. You love going up. Doesn't she love going up, everyone? Oh, she asks for it. She begs for it. This is a cat. This is a picture of a cat who loves being up. <laughs> oh my God, she hates being up so much. I mean, she loves being up. She hates being picked up. Is she going to go right back down, or is she... Oh, yeah, she's... Is she going to... Nope, okay. She likes to perch here on the armrest of the chair, even though she is 13 pounds and the largest cat I've ever owned. Um, she's she's just a delightful animal. I mean, uppies, but only on her terms. <laughs> a good cat. A good cat. A delightful cat. All right. Um... Normal mode or AGA mode? I think I know what that means. Yeah, the fact that the music is a bit of a bop means this game is going to be terrible. We're done. bit of a bop. Oh, we got options. Ah. Huh. You know, that actually happened with the uh, Nintendo 64 uh, the dev kit came with a, uh, a wavetable, and that's why so many 64 games sound very similar. Wait, if you press down, he... What? Wait. <laughs> Hang on. So that's your jump, and it's a pretty weird jump. But you can also crouch, and you turn into a rubber ducky. But if you hold it for too long, you die. Wow. Okay, so I... I see I've got some, uh... When I press fire, what it actually does is it selects between, like, inventory items at the bottom. Um, I have no actual attack, and I'm kind of wondering if the jump... Yeah, the jump is the attack. That's him, like, whirling the sword around himself, I guess. Yeah. Wow. That's a novel way of dealing with the uh, privations of a single joystick button. I don't know that I've ever seen that specific decision before. Quack. I'm not sure why Daria instructed me to play this first. I don't know if it's because it's unusually bad. I mean, it actually honestly seems kind of good, all things considered. Um, so maybe she was recommending it. Yeah, the duck sound is like, I, it does not sound like a duck. Also, the jumping physics in this are garbage. 
but it is an Amiga game, so that goes, oh, god damn it. Uh, that goes without saying. Oh, I have shields. Okay, so if I press the button, nothing. If I press down, nothing. So I wonder how I use them. I'm, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, um, hmm. I like how every time this dude lands, he makes this deafening clank noise. Also, they actually bothered to do the Sonic on the edge of a cliff uh, animation. He's like, oh, but it's only, it's like pixel perfect. You've got to absolutely be riding the very edge of the damn thing. Oh, you can uh, jump boost off of enemies. Did I blow up the level at the end? Oh, yeah, the, um, the beat is very much... Uh, the beat is very much all on the left channel, and that's because... The Amiga had four channel audio and two channels were attached to the left speaker and two to the right. Uh, and so uh, you can't actually put instruments on both channels at once unless you duplicate them. Um, you can mono it, you know, you can, um, I could go in and set it up so it blends them, but I'd rather not. It's just a quirk of the hardware, you know. It wasn't it wasn't supposed to be used for this. It was just, basically the Amiga has stereo audio with two channel mixing. What what people ended up doing with that was making four channel music and then just sitting back a couple feet and not using headphones. You know, or this, like I don't know, it sounds fine to me. I I don't mind. It'd be nice to have control over it. You know, it'd be nice if the if there'd been um Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can drill down through the floor, huh? But yeah, um, it would have been nice if uh, there was artistic control over it, but it's not really a big deal. Um, in practice, you know, there were much worse things that they uh, they could have done. Wow, this this really is a this real this game was made after Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm just saying. Uh, the emulator actually does allow that. Um, I can I can go in here and uh, here. Uh, I know the emulator can. I don't know if um, if it'll be implemented in here, but I think it. In fact, you know what? I'm almost positive it does. Here, um, stereo separation. There we go. We just change that down like that. There we go. I think that'll probably sound a little bit better. Oh, uh, and you know what? There's one other thing we should do while we're in here. Uh, is interpolation none. I've always found that no interpolation sounds better. Okay, so uh, I'm in a map. Oh, I've got a map of the whole level. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, to be honest, this is one of the best Amiga games I've ever played. Uh, which isn't saying very much. Like, in the past, when I played them, it's just been trash. So, uh, this one's actually, like, relatively playable and, like, uh, kind of has a, a visual style and, and many other things. You know, I didn't die there when he hit me. Is that because... Uh, he definitely, like, hit me, hit me. So, I'm kind of want Do I have health? That would be super weird for a Amiga title, but... Maybe I just, um... Oh, okay, so the goal... All right, so I believe the goal of the game here is to capture all the gems. Uh, I've already played Xenon 2 at some point. I only like to play games I've never heard of. Everybody plays Xenon 2. What about Xenon 1? Heart down there? 
but wait, but what, what? But the heart's down there. How do I get to it? The collision detection in this is definitely like not Nintendo grade, you know? Uh, it's, it's pretty, um, it's pretty unfortunate. going on what I'm sorry what exactly would you say just happened what yeah that was so weird Duck noise is so obnoxious. I thought it might have been my shield activating, but I still have only two of them. Man, this is so weird. So, let me... Hang on. So, that's button one for sure, and I think... That's button two, and it doesn't use anything. Man, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about this. Oops. Like, the music is a bit of a bop, I'll give it that, but that's also kind of low-hanging fruit on the Amiga. It kind of made good music easy. <laughs> After a fashion, you know what I mean. I wonder if the reason that I can just die by crouching for too long is actually like a I messed up and got into an unwinnable situation suicide option. You know, I have the feeling that, that if there's a speed run of this, the strategy is going to be to clip through this wall here. I mean, we've seen a number of enemies so far. Um, honestly, a number of, of distinct enemies. Um, and I mean, we've been on the same level for a while, and we will be for a while if I were to try and seriously complete it, because if you look at this map, it's uh, kind of sizable. Actually, oh wait, there's only two gems remaining? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, and they're the ones right next to me, and... When I get to those, it is actually going to start, um, it's going to start, uh, blowing up the level, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save state, because I don't know how long that takes. Oh, okay, so I have 85 seconds to escape. That's fine, I think it's just up here, right? As intended, I'm getting a little bit lost. Oh, crap. Is it still counting down? No, it actually freezes time when you're in here. Oh, wait, there's an exit up there? There's two exits? Yeah, there's two exits. Okay, so... I believe I'm at this map, and if I could figure out how to go straight up... Yeah, this is kind of a bop. If I could figure out how to go straight up, I think that's a bonus level. I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk. Uh, I can always reload my save. 
Yeah, this is kind of a bop, isn't it? I'm not sure how we would go up. Right? Because it's straight up... Oh, wait. No, no, I still... Yeah, I don't know how we would do that. Unless there's invisible platforms up here. So let's just go ahead and exit through the normal exit. Uh, which is going to be... Yeah, that one. Is it actually changing the pitch of emergency? Oh, that might have been the entrance. You know, you're right. Maybe that is, maybe that's where I dropped in. I guess we'll find out. Lording. Yeah, I can't tell if it's just the uh, like pitch illusion. Oh, it's the same music. Wait. Okay, for a second I thought this was the same level. Now that? Okay, so I could take three hits? Okay, my health is tracked by the bar at the top. That's what's up. And I cannot change into a ducky to survive the water. Damn. Uh, what does it continue do? Hmm. Emergency. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, the the uh, slime blorps could just kill you straight up. Oh, okay, all right, that's fun and fair. <laughs> so, do these only start going up when you jump on them? Yeah, and then are they just permanently up there, or do they come back down? Oh, is a place of fish? Is that okay? Let's let's wait here for a second. Are they on a global? Okay, yeah, they're on a global timer. The neat thing is that because jumping is, you know, attacking, um, we are this situation again. I don't know what this is doing. Uh, because jumping and attacking are the same action, uh, there's a lot of cases where, like, you run into guys in midair and, uh, oh, god damn it. Oh, that's a checkpoint. Um, you run into guys in midair, and you're like, oh, crap, but you actually don't die as expected. Because, uh, you were, you were attacking. Because attacking and jumping are the same action. This game only has one verb, and it's jump tack. We call this an a jump. Actually, the bigger problem is, honestly, is that this game only has one soundtrack entry. <laughs> If it had more than a song. It's funny, because, like, mods are very small. That's one of the cool things about them. Ah, uh, okay, and see, this also... All right. This also takes advantage. This this weaponizes a... Uh, oh, interesting. I can't attack... Ah, uh, there we go. You have to hit that guy from the side. This uh, weaponizes a uh, particular... Um, basically, on... Um, on older games, yeah, maybe there's a, yeah, maybe it's like five levels per song. On older games, um, jumping is very rudimentary, and your your upwards motion, your upwards momentum is not arrested when you hit things. So I could jump into this, and it continues to push me up into it, and gravity doesn't apply until I run out of the fixed amount of momentum that all jumps give you. So that's um. A very beginner kind of error to make um, and like you could also say you could say look it's just a stylistic thing you know Mario Brothers isn't everything but I disagree uh, <laughs> so Uh, oh, did they? Here, let's go back and look. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, like, he doesn't react to bonking, but the fact that he's, you know, spinning kind of makes it plausible that he would continue to produce upwards force. Oh, 
big switch. What, do, what, what do big switch? What big switch do? Big switch. Let's go back this way. Did it change anything back here? Nothing I can see. All right, well, switch was off. Uh, or rather, switch was off. Yeah, switch was off, so we want to want to turn switch on. The thing that guy drops looks like an N95 mask. I'm not sure what he's dropping. It's probably just a points, uh, points object. This is one of the most playable uh, European home computer games I've ever experienced. Like, I'm, I'm generally... It's still, you know... It's still kind of got that... Uh, I'm looking for here. It's it's very floaty, you know. Oh god damn it! It's very floaty and like I don't don't love that, but um, otherwise I'm reasonably impressed. Okay, yeah. So we're in the sub aqua zone. It looks like there's a few more levels, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and bail on that. Um, but I'm still fairly impressed. Um, now one thing I wanted to look up. Uh, I do want to play. Can I expand this sidebar? There we go. Get a little more. Okay, I want to play these other duck games, but first I need to look something up. Okay. Ah. ah I see. Okay. Uh, I was playing an Adams Family game on here earlier, and it also seemed like kind of reasonable. And I thought this can't be an Amiga exclusive, and I've checked, and it isn't. So, there's that. <laughs> uh, Gianna Sisters is crap. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't think it looks very good, and I don't like the music. But that's just my opinion. Let's play these other duck games. We're going to play some more duck-themed games. Okay, everyone, actually, I do need to give you an update. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, we'll come back to that. Let's just, um... Let's just consider this. She is... Sns. 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 My, my USB-C cable is kind of caught here. What if? Oh, hello. She doesn't have a uh, activation noise. She just quietly wakes up. And she goes back to sleep. You know what? Give me a second. I need to. What is this caught on? Everyone hang on a second. <laughs> I've got a cable here I need to untangle. She's a very pretty cat, but then uh, all cats are pretty. And uh, she's just as pretty as Soba, but in different ways. There we go. Now the camera is unchained. No, not really. It's still really short cord. <laughs> but there we go. That is Udon. She's very wide. <laughs> She's an incredibly wide cat. Yeah. 
Yes, she's very flat. Uh, not only did Ed the Duck get a game, he got two games. She's, she's flipping her tail around now. By the way, did, uh, did everyone see I, I carpeted in here? I laid down carpet tiles, and, uh, man, it's so much nicer. Okay. Oh, this is a bop. Yo, but this is a bop, though. Wait, is this a bop bop? Uh, this is my house. <gasps> oh my god, they've got like general MIDI choir ooze. Aww. Do, 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 do. Oh god, you know what this sounds like? This sounds exactly like the Trolls game that came out for the PC. I'm gonna have to fire that up just so I can show you what I mean. Oh wow, oh that is a really weird design decision. Okay, so check this out. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong. Oh, I guess I was just hitting, I thought it was making my bullets explode when I let go of the fire button. Yeah, that's the thing, like your two options were, well, okay. On the NES and other platforms, when you played sound effects, you just kill one of the music channels. But on the Amiga and most other um, home computers in Britain and Europe, that pretty much never happened. I don't know if I've ever seen it. So you either got music or sound effects and virtually never did you get both. Oh, this hand just sort of hovers above you. Oh wait, no, no, it's timer based. Ah, oh. needless to say, this is extremely difficult. Wait, is this a different song? Oh no, it's the same song. Oh, okay, and I can freeze that thing. For some reason, I had it in my head that it was immortal. Okay, but, like, this is definitely not, you know, Mario, uh, Mario aware, um, because you can't change direction once you're in the air. You have to choose your direction before you jump. Oh, oh I almost got murked by that teddy bear. Depeche Mode. This kind of sounds like Depeche Mode. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. I would otherwise not have the context. Oh, wait. This has checkpoints? What? This game is stupefyingly difficult, but uh, actually not garbage, I have to say. Wait. Oh, wow, you can change direction in air, but just very slowly. And if you're already moving, I think you can stop a little bit. Yeah, this is, um, gosh, what was his name? Andy Fletcher? Something like that? Era Depeche Mode? The Erasure guy, I think? Ooh, 
this 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 jump is really tough. Oh, I see. Okay, so you can you get air control on jumps on the come down. You don't have it at all when you're going up, but you get it on the come down. Because that's when he starts flapping his wings. There's actually like a diegetic explanation for it. That's wild. Oh, there we go. Okay, now, is that a pickup or a platform? It is a platform, okay. Oh, crap! Andy Bell, there we go. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah, 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 okay. I was thinking of Andy Bell, but it was... I did not know what Ed the Duck is, but it's been explained to me. Um, yeah, I I absolutely detest saying it, but that's actually quite good, and I enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put those on favorites. I'm really angry. This is the first time uh, that I have ever enjoyed an Amiga game, and I'm really mad about it. Um Let's just check. I don't think this got ported to anything. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, it got ported to all the home computers. So Amstrad, CPC, Atari ST, C64, and ZX Spectrum. Um, let me take a peek at what some of those look like real quick. Identical. Yeah, those look like very faithful ports. Well, yeah, that's actually uh, that's actually Deese. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what did what did your Sinclair say about it? It may be a copy of Rainbow Islands, but it's a blimmin' good one. Does blim mean the F word? I don't necessarily like this bop as much. Yeah, uh, Joseph, um, I'm not necessarily a big fan of rolling the chair on carpet. Um, it's a benefit that the chair doesn't want to move, but uh, if I'd kept the normal wheels that were on this thing, I don't know that I, uh, I would have had a, a great time with it. What I actually did is I, I bought rollers, uh, roller skate style replacement wheels for my chair and uh, it definitely rolls a lot better. Oh, okay, so my main volume does affect the in-game volume. Uh, I'm going to turn my headphones down a little bit. Although actually, let me, is this too loud? Let me know. And this is also not going to have any mu uh, any sound effects. For my money, that's what I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, those are the two options. Music, no sound effects, or sound effects, no music. Uh, oh, uh, it turns out that I had a limited number of highs. That is a bullet vending machine. Wow, this game looks a lot worse than the first one. Like, practically speaking. Hack and sack. Okay. So instead of freezing guys, you have to pie them. But the pie is also going to wear off, isn't it? Oh, come on. How was I... Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, whoa! Whoa, I looked away for a second and I respawned inside a kill zone. Oh my god. What? Oh, wow. This is so much worse. Hello, Caitlin. This is so much worse than the first game in the series. Wow. Let's, um, let's try that again. Yeah, thanks, Zeppelin Games. Can we walk on the roof? Yes, poorly, but still. Alright, so... We gotta get all the way over here, and then what? Do we have... Oh, no. Do we have to walk on the clouds? Or can we walk on the barrel? Oh, okay. Okay, we can walk on the barrel. But I seem to have no way to kill that hat thing. Is that a power-up? Oh, okay, I think that was a life. Uh, much better air control in this one. Oh, God. But you don't jump as aggressively, so I'm going to have to start at the beginning, aren't I? Oh, wow. No, it actually it actually checked one. Oh, that's right. It always drops you wherever you die, um, as we observed later. Wait, I can just avoid that by going on the top wire? Okay. Wow. Okay. Naturally, uh, the uh, roof of the house being sloped, you can't actually walk on it. You can only land on it. Now, do we think... Okay, yeah, I figured that might might be a power-up. I think it's just points. Oh, wait, that guy's not constrained to an area. He can just sort of free roam. Terrible. Okay, uh, oops. There we go. you got to remember, you can't jump at them. You have to... Okay, and those are platforms as well. You can't jump at them. You have to jump and then move once you've cleared... Um, the danger zone. So that sucks. Is that a Batleth? Uh, I'm not sure what I'm picking up. I do like that they only drew the, like, bubble numbers up to nine. So you can only have nine pies, and then it's just nine plus. I, I personally think that's really funny that they ended up with that. Uh, oops, that's not quite enough buffer zone to do that safely. There we go. Can I jump off the screen? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, hmm. Wait, there's a hat up there? Okay. Um, items zero. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Keep an eye out for gold. California's gold. Yeah, this seems like a, uh, a totally unrelated game. Probably made by different people. Uh, doesn't look incredible, but I have to give it some amount of credit. Oh, interesting. Wait, I had the... What? What? Well, what? I pressed down and now I am here. Is this a different area? What? What? How did I get there? Though, but, but, um, hello? Hello, computer? I love that, like, something falling into the toilet grade sound, which may have been how they produced that sample uh, of stuff falling in the water. You know, it really could be a lot better. Actually, I'm honestly thinking it probably was recorded in the toilet. That seems really likely to me. I still have 9 plus pies because it, it doesn't really make sense to... Yeah. 
I also have a bunch of coins for whatever that's worth. Uh, bodge. Hmm. Hope that's not some sort of obscure British slur. Kind of feels like it could be, now that I think about it. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, it's one of these. Um, ouch. Wait, he got zorched. Is he dead? Game not necessarily nearly as good as the first one. Oh. Oh, well, I'm glad that's over. Um, let's see. There's a ducktail here. Oh, but this is going to be the, the one that got ported to the PC, which I haven't played in a just eons. Well, I know bodge. I know what bodge means now. I didn't know. I don't know what it meant. However many decades ago. I always got to be careful. I'll play neighbors if and when I get to it. I don't. I don't do requests on these streams. I just have to go through and play the games as I come to them. Yeah. Um. Launchbox. I can't. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. It actually. It's very much a. Um, Somebody uh, somebody got very mad at the state of things and designed and decided to make something integrated all the stuff that they had wanted to uh, uh, wanted to see done better by all the other emulators and launchers and whatnot. Um, for uh, and uh, so it includes a lot of like quality of life stuff that nothing else does. So a funny thing about the Amiga is, um, oh man, pushover. <laughs> yeah. A funny thing about the Amiga is that you've got two types of soundtrack. Uh, one is the absolute scorching banger. Um, like some of the best music you've heard in your entire life. Uh, you know, for instance, forget this game. Forget this game. I'm going to go... I, I need to come back and finish the duck games. Uh, but first... Uh, give me a second here. Where is it? Oops. That... Ooh. Don't want to get copyright struck. That was a... That was a... Well, I don't know. That was a... That was a... a Matt the Electrician song. Um, hang on a second. Okay, uh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Lord, that was an impressive ident. This isn't even what I came here to show you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this isn't even the intro I was looking for.
This is like a three and a half minute song. Also, that's the cover that's a little more upbeat. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> Got that Phil Collins drum fill. I'm letting this play all the way through. Uh, this actually wasn't composed by Joe Gear Lillahal. Um, and there's a bit of a plagiarism accusation around that. <laughs> I've heard Pinball Fantasy at some point. This song's still going. No, this has not repeated.
God, I've actually never heard the whole song before. <laughs> there we go. It finally looped. <laughs> My God. What a, what a goddamn voyage. Oh. Yeah, it's... God, it's the best song on the entire platform. Game sucks. <laughs> I haven't even played it. Uh, but I just heard it sucks. And everybody on YouTube was like, Why the hell did they let him make such an incredible song for such a dumb game? <laughs> Oops. Uh, I actually have it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, here, this is the top comment on YouTube. I imagine the lead designer talked to the composer. Uh, yeah, we asked for a piece of music for a silly dinosaur game with a funny little guy in sunglasses. Not a spiritually transcendent godly song of the cosmos. I mean, maybe we could use it, but it's not what I had in mind. <laughs> it's, it's literally one of the best songs I've heard in my life. Uh, no, the Amiga just did the samples. It was just pure... PCM. Um, unless somebody's gonna shock me here, but I'm like 99% sure. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hello, Udon. I don't want to play the game at this point. What's the, what's the point? Yeah, that's the thing. You didn't need a Sid. Well, there was, there was stuff that you couldn't do that was possible on the C64, but you could fake it really well. <laughs> yeah, like, this this level theme is, like, okay. Wow, that's a lot of sprites. Look at that. There's so many frames of animation. Those are all separate sprites. Uh, but this definitely is not on par with that intro. <laughs> let's, let's get a beer, of course. Oh, the levels wrap. Okay. Yeah, they made that song for like a Mario Brothers original uh, grade game, you know? Oh, okay. Uh... Wait, what? Oh. What? Dino Dad attack is imminent. Hordes of locusts. Well, okay then. Why can't I take all of these? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I killed that guy. Oh. Wait, I killed that guy, though I'm not sure how. I killed a dinosaur. Why? Did I, did I just jump on him? Okay, it's okay. Mario Bros. rules, let's go. You lost all your eggs. My guy fell apart. What am I doing in this? Yeah, so that, you know, so that's the game. Dino hatching. Egg, egg, egg. Uh, you can play this with, uh... You can play this with up to three pe- uh, sorry, up to two people if you want, you know? The Dino Dad attack is imminent. But- but what's the Okay, we've got like a pentagram flock of pterodactyls. I ran, I ran so far away. You lost all your eggs. What do I do in this game? Oh. So yeah. Uh. Just, just a a breathtaking piece of music in a game that absolutely did not need it. Um. I always think about. I always think about this. Um. Yes. Uh, okay. So, in a nutshell, and I've only just you know read about this. I you know I wasn't there or anything. But in a nutshell, 
Um, Jochen Hippel released this game originally on the Atari ST. I don't know who ported it to Amiga or how that worked out. I hadn't actually... That didn't click until I was until I was playing it for a bit, and I went, oh, wait a minute, this is on Amiga. The original game was on Atari ST. What I heard, what I heard, is that Yoger Lilidol converted it to Amiga format, which is not in itself a problem, really. I don't think anyone would have been upset about that, but supposedly, it then got put into, I think, a demo competition with no credits. Like, it credited Yoger and not the original composer, despite it just being... Um, literally like the same song just converted and then slightly sped up so um it seems like a bit of a dick move um to me but the thing is we're talking about like a hip-hop sampling grade kind of controversy here where it's just not you know it's not as straightforward as like as all that and there's it's I mean, the fact that the guy didn't get excommunicated from everything, I think, kind of tells you that people disagreed on whether it really was um, a, a serious violation uh, of the you know, de facto you know, community standards or not. Um, I think if that had been seen as like a deeply dickish thing to do by everyone, then I think probably the guy would have gotten uh, pretty much you know pushed out. Um, I also saw some people commenting on one of these videos saying that the guy was kind of known for not being very original and um, you know making a lot of music that was um, derivative, to to put it lightly. Um, but the thing is, like, that's just uh, that's something you say about a lot of people that don't really deserve to be called plagiarists, you know. Uh, uh, what am I thinking of? Um, there's a lot of bands that sound very similar, you know? <laughs> and um, it's not necessarily, you know, plagiarism. It's just some people take more inspiration than others. And, and, and especially in the context of... In the context of this particular song, um, yeah, the guy definitely straight up copied it. And the question is just one of whether he gave adequate credit and whether that credit was expected and I don't really know the answer to that. Like, that's not my call to make. Um, I'm pretty sure that, like, contemporaneously, there were people who were upset about it. Um, but I don't think that it was universally agreed upon. At any rate, I happen to prefer the Yogi version. Um, it's a little bit quicker. Uh, I think it hits a little bit harder, in my opinion. Um, and so... Uh, Sorry, give me just a second. Okay. Um, yeah, like, uh, we could probably find something on, like, Usenet. <laughs> uh, or some old FTP dump or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically... Uh, it's something that you, if you ever share the song with somebody, like, you have to mention it. Like, you're kind of required to mention, like, hey, this isn't the original, and some people, you know, think that that matters. Um, but I don't know what the actual community opinion on it was. Uh, okay, what are we doing here? Um, yeah, so I remember having this for the personal computer when I was a child, and not being able to make heads or tails of it. Ducktails of it, if you will. Um... It's very much like a, you know, a very computer game kind of game. Uh, you know, and I, I wanted to play, you know, an action platformer. I wanted DuckTales for the NES, even though I had never seen it. Um, <laughs> that's still definitely what I wanted. And yeah, I don't remember what this is all about. Like, what are we doing here? Why are we doing it? Yeah, okay. Oh, like, I know I... I know I, I... I know I jumps into the money bin, like, diegetically, but why am I doing it? Why is it a game action? Why is it a verb? Also, I gotta get rid of the cat jam, because there are no jams going on right now. 
Like, I know, we're swimming in money, but why am I doing it? What does that change in the game? So yeah, let's go do Control Center. I like how everything you do on here uh, requires it to go load some stuff from disk. You know, nothing's ever cached. Oh man, yeah, and this might not be cracked. Yep. Yeah, this one's not cracked. Which is weird. Um, oh, you know what? I think if I go back to my list here and I go to uh, play version. Hmm. Wow, do I really not have a cracked version of this? Is that the situation? Is that what's going on? Hold up a sec. Okay, DuckTales. Yeah, I said, wait a minute. Is anything in here cracked? Oh. Whoops. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, no. So all this is unplayable. Like, the vast majority of this is going to be unplayable. That's a disappointment. Uh, I am going to have to load another collection. Well, I mean, I could go, I could go get the manual, but, like, that's, I don't, that's gonna, it just means that for every game that I want to play, I'm gonna have to go dig up the manual first and, like, go through, let's see, can this, um, media, yeah, and RetroArch doesn't have the manual for it. Well, I mean, we, I have the Tossack collection as well, and Tossack uh, is all cracked, but, um, it's 27,000 files, so I can't really load it right now. This is Dacula. Kind of a bop. It's a little bit of a bop. All this Amiga music is just making me want to uh, uh, fire up Chess Jackrabbit, not to actually play the game, <laughs> just just to hear the bop. Uh, okay. So what do we got going on here? Is this a character select? Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, oh, we're shmupping. Okay. What? What? Am I not supposed to hit those? Whatever they are? Unsure precisely what's occurring. I I think those are bad reactions. Oh yeah, I think I'm losing. I think I'm losing uh, booze or something. I don't know. Zorch. Oh, did I clear it? Okay. All right. Oh, I'm sure this isn't a. I'm sure this isn't a good game. That's not the point. Oh, this is a really bad game. What the hell? Corn. What? What? What am I doing here? What is this Mega Man shit? Like, I know that if I fall more than, like, a quarter of a screen, my dude dies. So, oh, this is another of those uh, non-lethal games where all you can do is, uh, okay, I got some corn, and I died. This game sucks. Heavens. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Wow. Yowza. Uh, core design. Oh, wow, core design. Okay.
Okay. All right, what do we got? Bin and pin. Yeah? A miracle book. I've seen this before. This? Oh, Sega. Okay, there we go. Sega. Oh, yeah, there we go. The name of the files is Compilation Sega Master Mix. I did not even notice that. Yeah, and it goes by a, a bit quick, too, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, weird. Uh, I'm having... I'm having input issues. What's going on here? He's just like slammed against the left side of the screen there. What? 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 What's going on? I'm having problems. You know, a weird thing is that I'm supposed to be able to toggle the mouse on and off, and that's not working. Hang on. Core options, hotkey mapping. Uh, yeah, switch joystick mouse is right control. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. But he's still doing that. Huh. No, my, my inputs are definitely doing stuff. They're just not doing what I want. That is truly weird. Oh, that's, that's really strange. Uh... Yeah, and there's a, there's a little blurb in the launch box metadata about it doesn't say anything about it having a weird control scheme so i don't know yeah huh uh oh uh nine lives is a cat themed game which i've played before and it's absolutely garbage as i recall there they are Boarding. Uh, I have not... Where did that come from? Y'all ever watch the uh, music video for Bedfold's uh, Rock in the Suburbs? Where uh, Weird Al reaches over to the mixer board and just turns a knob from sucks to rocks? I'm right. Yeah. 
This 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 bops. I don't know how long it is. I don't think it's looped yet. But man, wow. Whoa! Oh! There's credits back there. Oh no, it's still going. I think that's exactly it, Caitlin. Okay, I think we've heard it. Uh, although, man, it's really good. I can't believe they just dropped the intro like that. That was ridiculous. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, is the music just going to continue? Yep. But yeah, this game, awful. As you can see. Uh, yeah, you cannot jump at an angle. You also can't fire upwards. Wait a minute, you gotta be able to jump at an angle. What? You can turn in midair. What? Oh, right, you have to press down to charge a jump. I remember now. And of course, you know, one hit, one hit or quitter. All right. I'm a little more prepared. Oh my god, and of course, it's just like the other thing, the other game, where you, uh, you just, you spawn directly on top of whatever just killed you. And also, you can't, uh, uh, you can't ever permanently kill anything. Oh, I remember now. Okay, I remember how this works now. You have to charge your jumps. And you can charge them way up. <laughs> Giddy go. I almost think it's bugged. Shouldn't these things be killing me? Oh, okay. I have a, a health bar. I see it now. This game actually makes a little more sense. Like, it's got some real video game going on. Well, he just sits down. All right. Can I... Oops. And I cannot get out of here. So I'm going to have to... Uh, I saw some food up there, and I'd like to use the food. I'm hoping I would regain some health there, but uh, I can't get up to where it is. God, this is a bop. Uh, the frame rate is potato because uh, games were not optimized back then. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm just stepping off the edge. How am I supposed to do it? Now let's try this again. But let's not be doing a full... Nope. Ah, sucks. Sucks. Not good, bad, bad game. I've played this on another platform, but I don't remember what. Yeah, so I want very badly to love it, but I don't. Also, one thing you might not have noticed is that they drew the cat's asshole. Uh, there was one black pixel under his tail to represent his butt. So, wow, okay. Uh, this is going to be garbage. But...
As a reminder, I'm still looking for an Amiga to buy. <laughs> All the ones on the secondary market are Garbo price, so if you've got one you want to sell, get in touch. I am pressing one. I am pressing one. I am pressing one. I am... Oh! Shift one! Sure! Why not? Uh, apparently Galactic Empire was a game, and this is Advanced Galactic Empire, so this is a follow-up. That's what the description says. Apparently this is, a, this is an Elite clone. <sighs> oh, probably not going to get a bop here. That's what I'm thinking. Those discs sound sound reasonable. Yeah, see, like ninety nine percent of the games were made for the A five hundred, so that's really all I'm looking for. But I assume you don't want to part with it. Wow, this is really, really <laughs> chugging to get the uh, the game loaded off the disc. Well, if it's just the shipping, uh, I mean that might cost less than buying one on eBay. <laughs> kind of grooving on this at the moment, so bear with me. Yeah, the power supply isn't a problem. Yeah, I've got PAL displays. But there's no point in getting an NTSC uh, Amiga. Everything is made for PAL timing. Like, are there any North American Amiga games at all? And as far as I know, you can put 60 hertz into any of the home computers because they generate their own timing signal. And so as long as your TV supports uh, PAL, you're golden. So I at least don't have a problem because I work with OSSC, um, sorry, OSSC, you know, RetroTank and uh, um, PVMs. You know, I'm, I'm set up. So uh, it's not really... It's not really a problem, and a PAL model is exactly what I'm looking for. So genuinely, yeah, like, if you're looking to move that thing, if it's 300 bucks to ship it over here, that actually beats getting one on eBay, like, considerably. So, uh, we should talk. All right. Really digging this, uh, digging this, uh, this splash screen, but how do I move past it? Oh, there we go. Okay, and this is going to be the uh, copy protection, but you know what? Uh, well, it was in English for a moment. Right? 
and consult consultas la grille de colors. <laughs> oh man. Um, uh, I'm just gonna look this one up. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Yeah, there's there's like a ridiculous little grid in the manual. Prohibito reproducir. Re, re, huh. Wow. The little grid for this is ridiculous. Uh... Oh, okay, so I'm just looking for uh, red, black, I don't know that color. I swear this was in English for a second. Can I get that back, please? <laughs> what if I just, uh... Nope, clicking doesn't work. Uh, wow. Oh wait, but these are color-coded too? Oh, okay, that's how I can correspond it to the colors. Okay, so then it's yellow, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, yellow, green, okay, got it. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, there we go, D096. Oh, okay. Uh, so I would be looking for... D96 would be uh, this one here. Um, okay. D9 is D096. Purple. That couldn't be it, could it? <laughs> what the hell is the grill? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I think it worked. Yeah, so it's this huge grid of colors, but all you have to do is look up a, uh, a number and a letter intersection. Yeah, so I'm very, very much... Uh... Wait, does that say you play, but then start of game is over there? Guided tour... Do I use the mouse? No. How do I do things? I'm not sure how to do things. Oh, I did something. Hey. I mean, I'm trying to play. Okay, insert disc two. Now this is where things get interesting. Well, it looks like disc two has already been loaded, so... Um, n um, no, no, you insert disc two. Um, man. I don't think that worked. Nope. Damn it, it wants me to put it in slot one. Uh, that's not what's supposed to happen. Disc four of twenty. Uh... Ah, crap, 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 game focus off. Uh, disc control. Uh, the problem is I can, I can eject the disc. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Insert disc. Hey, we've done it. We've done it. Hey, we made it through. We made it through, folks. It's all going to be okay. How much of the stream has been uh, discs loading? <laughs> oh, that's that is going. That's going quick. I'm impressed. I still have the um, I still have the music from a prehistoric tale in my head. 
<laughs> the Labyrinth of Shade. Okay. Oh, whoops, I got it. Sorry, there's a, still a cat jam there. It's like streaming data from the disk. All these, like, little, uh... I, all these little uh, faces up there. <laughs> Does that ship have a mouse tail? Is that me? Oh, I think that's me. I dare not enable uh, fast disk loading because you never know what it's going to do. God, this takes so long to load, it's actually worth dropping a save state just in case I ever want to uh, I ever want to play this again. <laughs> Let me do that. Uh, quick menu. There we go. Save state. Okay. Pick up the object you can see. It's a laser left by our agents. Why didn't you take it? It's useful. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, whoa, how do I stop this ride? I want to get off. Oh, there we, oh, wow, you can use, oh, it's the mouse, okay. All right, and then what do we, oh, okay. You right click to go into like doing stuff mode. Put it in the control screen. Hey, look, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm holding the little 3D object. Nobody did this back then. Nobody does this now. All right, what do we put it here? There we go. I have the laser. All right. Oh, wait, I launched an exploratory... What? What? I've got a little steerable rocket. What? Get out. Yo, but this is dope, though? But, but wait, this is real cool, though. And probably if I right-click, it's going to uh, detonate. Yep, there we go. Uh, all right, so that one, surely that's the, they said it was a laser, but surely that's a rocket, right? Yeah. Laser E. Oh. Okay, it's laser time. Um, all right, so, wow. Now what? Let's do some stuff. Okay, uh, I don't know what that did. What? Oh. Oh, enjoying the stream. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, I wonder if I just got out. I've got like a little Lamogus down there. Yeah, I think... Oh, wait. No, no. That's that's just external view. Okay. Oh, I see. That's a camera icon. Okay. And then this is probably... Contact not selected. Okay. Oh, and then we can, we can rebalance our power like uh, X-Wing, which wasn't out yet. So that's fun. Uh, okay, what do you do? Hey, wait, where's my laser? Did I drop it? No. Yo, but, hey, but where's my laser, though? I need that back. Hey, but, uh, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Uh, um, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. That's an inventory uh, interface. Okay, so we put that there, and now we've got that. I guess this might be, like, what's in my, like, manipulator clause or something. Oh, thank you. I'll enjoy my $5 item. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. Save RAM. Really? I'm sorry, is that a feature in, in RetroArch that you're talking about? I will look for it while I'm waiting for you to uh, tell me. <laughs> was that is that a thing that I just just missed? Oh, oh, there it is. Save RAM auto state. What? Non volatile save RAM. What? Uh, Christian, ostensibly, 
ostensibly this is uh, emulating an Amiga 500 with the original speed. I don't know if that's true. Oh, wow! I can have this automatically reload the lap. I'm turning that on. Yeah, I'm turning that on. Are you kidding? Let's go. Uh, I can just have it jump me right back to where I was whenever I... Uh... Hey, this rocks. Where's the main option to turn on save RAM? Is it not... So I see this is the interval. Oh, well, it must be on already because it's set to... Huh. So how do I load that? Non-volatile save RAM. Oh yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, when you said when you said five dollar item, it appeared in red text, uh, and if I click on it, then I can view the properties of that of that thing, and it just says an item that costs five dollars. Um, yeah, this is pretty dope. Uh, RG three five one. What is? All right. Well. I don't know if I actually turned on save RAM or not. I'm gonna have to look into that later, uh, a little more. But uh, uh, doesn't matter. We're good. Uh, so we're in a little corral here. Oh, that's right. Didn't it say I needed to a s oh activate the laser? Why? What am I shooting? It's an ugly beast. Where? Oh, there it is. Whoa, it's got like little RPG uh, combat uh, details. Tells you how much damage you did, etc. Okay. There's a meta block at 180 degrees. Uh, click on it with the electron cursor. Oh, okay. Uh, servicing. The oh, I'm getting juiced up. Hey, this is pretty cool. Oh, uh, everyone, please imagine Half-Life uh, HEV suit recharge noises right now. Please do that for me, all right? Oh, okay, okay, that makes more sense. But it looks like um, I'm going to have to investigate a little bit more and see if there's an option for just automatic state, state saves in general. Um, I have the feeling it probably... For the express station, use a TK. You'll find one in the town center. Oh, okay, that's going to be like a uh, teleporter. We're in like a little uh, tutorial set. This is really good. What's going on? What the hell? Careful. The stand has an object. Take it and speak to the merchant. Oh! Oh, it's him! Everyone, look! It's the merchant! Oh! Is this a boy-based game? Help yourself. Anti-gas screen. Whoa! Whoa! Oops, sorry. He's here. Oh, I have to select a contact. Merchant. Communication accepted. Oh! Greetings! Hello! Neutralizes animal gas. What, like farts? Your credit has already been debited. Oh! He's just leaving. He's taking off. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Nico, from the video game Secret of Mana by Square. <laughs> He's just sort of hanging. He's just sort of wandering around now. Okay, pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, wait. Was that a seagull? Looked like a seagull. I don't think we can scoot side to side. I don't think we can strafe. Uh, oh, okay. That's like sort of a bridge over there. Um, so I got to get to the town center to get myself like a, a fast pass token uh, for the uh, transdimensional turnpike. More beasts. Oh, okay. So green dots are enemies. Yeah. There we go. That was a jellyfish, apparently. And the... The draw distance here, not what one wishes it would be, but that's okay. All right. Careful, an automatic laser. Okay, can I take it out? Reinforce your armor. Uh, 
Uh, shit, is that... You have no weapon to neutralize it. Is that this one? Is this armor? That's gotta be armor, right? So, we're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and save. Uh... Yeah, I can go up a little bit. Uh, and then I guess we just... Let's just get through here. We're gonna get zorched? Oh, wait. What? It's not attacking me. Perfect! You did really well. This is... Find Dale. This is a really, really good tutorial. This is really out of character for, like, this era of video games. I do wish it had music, but, you know, what can you do? Um, can I go up? Oh, you know what? This would be a good time to use the external camera. You know, I wonder if we need to click on this. Oh. E what? Oh, up and over. Oh, we're going to fall off? Or, oh, oh, it's a little transporter guy. He's moving me. Thank you. You know, um... I saw an accusation of this being an elite clone, but I'm not really buying it because I've played all the elite games at least a little bit. I put like an hour into each one and they're all very, very open ended. This actually has like there's stuff going on. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a story here. So I'm kind of curious. Mm -hmm. Help mm -hmm. yourself. Grenade. I'd like a grenade. Thank you. Is there anything else? Mm -hmm. Distributor empty. Okay. The other guy said my account had been debited, so I guess the help yourself was like, help yourself money to me. <laughs> oh, oh, who's that? Uh, is that an enemy? Communication accepted. That's Techno. Hello. Hello, stranger. Wow, you're not even going to say howdy? <laughs> From the Shark Lions. Okay. Let me pass you this decompressor. Let me just pass you this decompressor. Thanks. Uh, where did we put it? Oh, decompressor. I don't know what that does. But thank you. Hey, everyone, this game is nice. What's going on? Oh, oh, it's boy time. Let's go. There we go. You know, that damage... I don't know if that's him attaching... Uh, uh, attacking me. Yeah, RetroArch very much is like... There's so much to do in emulators, especially like a genericized emulator like this, that it's really difficult for it to be... Um, oh, wow, you can just save every state forever. I don't need to do that. Um, it's, it's really difficult to make one that's like super straightforward because there's just so much to do. But yeah, once you learn the principles, um, then you kind of figure out where to look for things and stuff gets really easy. Now, I just noticed that up at the top of the screen there, uh, we've got three meters. If we adjust that... Because I noticed that that above my cursor, that meter up there, looks like it might be shield versus weapon balance, but I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, and I also noticed that in the upper right, that's definitely like the amount of laser juice that I have. Um, don't know what the middle one is. And I'm not sure... They don't seem to be recharging or anything. Now... Oh. Oh! Okay, okay. So I think that the red icon here means throw this away, and the green one means put it in storage. Oh, and when these, this is my quick bar. So basically, whatever I click on here is going to immediately get put into the um, into the, the control center, as it put it. So let's replace the grenade with that. Okay, and then let's get the decompressor going. Decompressor activated. Oh. Okay. 
the guy told me I would need this. I'm not sure why. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Okay, yeah, and we can turn the decompressor on in mid-flight, so whatever's going to happen here, we can, we can be ready for it, I guess. This is, um, uh, the name of the current game is always in the upper right corner of the stream, right about there. Uh, this is Advanced Galactic Empire. Uh, okay, crap, there's actually a bad guy right here, so as soon as I land, I'm gonna have to be ready for it. Oops. Oh, I actually could have turned around in midair, whoops. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I took some damage there. That sucks. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's proceed. Oh, okay, I thought that was a baddie. Well, it might still be a baddie. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that is a bad guy. Whoops. Well, I'm doing a lot of damage, and he is not dying. Did the game just get hard? There we go. Bloody gremlins. Okay, so now my weapon is flashing. I think just to let me know about that. Oh, and you know what? I'm noticing here that... I wonder if that is the end point to a shortcut route that I could take once I get the uh, sort of access pass like I was talking about. I'm very curious. Um, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and save scum. Okay, and then what happens mm -hmm. if we click on this? Combat dose. Combat do What what's a combat dose? Combat dose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so that, that apparently charges up my weapon. Interesting. Huh. Alright. Well, we better get our weapon back. Okay. Distributor empty. Huh. Yeah... I used to like the uh, the XMB interface for RetroArch, but I agree that it actually is a good thing that they got away from it. Um, I kind of wonder if the, if they were worried about legal stuff. Well, I don't think they really needed to be, but I kind of wonder if that was the reason. But um, uh, I do think this is actually better. Okay, let's get the laser ready. I don't know about you, but I'm having a blast in this game. Alright, who's this guy? Is that a bad guy? Communication refused. Oh, okay, there we go. I guess I could have maybe used a rocket for that. Okay, so the green bar up there, that kind of feels like that might either be my shield uh, or like my whole integrity. Not sure. Oh, okay, if you're in navigation mode, I'm suddenly realizing if you're in navigation mode and you have the laser enabled, then it just fires straight in front of you instead of picking a location on the screen. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, we got a dispenser. <laughs> got a dispenser here. Whoa, look at the design for this guy. He's so cool. Wait, did we just... Did we just get a new item? What? We got a new item. This is the stunner. No more combat energy. Okay, so let's get the combat dose. There we go. I'm probably going to find out I'm just outside of a, a city. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have a stunner instead of a laser. I wonder what the value of that is. This game is really cool. I'm having a blast. Oxygen? Dang it. Ah, there we go. Oh, wait, do I literally need O2? Uh, I'll bet the blue one up there. Yeah, it turns out I need oxygen. What? This is great. Let's put the stunner back in there, and then in case that doesn't work, let's get the laser and put that there. I still don't know what the compressor does. Can I... I, 
wish there was a way to interrogate what the uh, what the stuff does from in game. It looks like there isn't. Okay, that's only doing nine damage, so I'm definitely gonna want to switch. Yeah, that does a lot more damage. So I wonder what the stunner's for. I wonder if there's a reason to have non-lethal interactions in this game. Survival dose. Oh, okay, there's... Oh, I'm still in the tutorial area. That's what's going on. Yo, this is one of the coolest games I've ever played. Certainly from this era, but also just kind of in general. Interesting. Uh, huh. I had stopped clicking on the dose, but it kept dosing. So, either the survival dose works differently, or I misunderstand how they work in general. I need to find out if this got uh, ported to anything else, and I also need to check out the original game, because I am now a huge Advanced Galactic Empire stan. Like, just ma- uh, what do we have here? Okay, let's go ahead and save scum, and then advance. Do we think that that's gonna teleport us? Inflatable barrier. Ah! Uh, am I being ambushed? No. Surely that's how I get rid of it, right? I just need to destroy it? Huh. Maybe I use the stunner. Well, it turns it blue instead of red. Weird. Why would this... Why would this not... Pop? Yeah, I think you're right about the dose. I think it just keeps applying... Oh, wait! Uh... Decompressor. Ho 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 ho! Okay, I wasted so much material there that I'm actually going to save scum. Okay. But that's what the decompressor is for! It's a puzzle item! And since, uh, let's go ahead and arm that, and then as we proceed here, we should be able to just hold it down. Uh, no, I guess we actually do have to click on it. There we go. Oh, man. This is such a video game! This is one of the video games of all time. Uh, okay, I think... Oh, shit, I don't know what that is. Robot guard. Okay, he's gonna fight me. Oh, did I do it? Okay, I did it. Cool. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like this. This is one of the most video games. Um, in in no uncertain terms, this is this is uh. This is video game maximum to me. I'm I'm having such a video game right now. Are these anything? Oh, isn't that a bad guy? Huh. Oh, that was a bad guy sound. What? Uh, I don't trust like this. What is this thing? Wah! Oh, shit! I'm not doing any damage. I just gotta scoot past it. Maybe use a health dose. I love the word dose uh, used in this context. It's a very funny uh, way to use the word dose. So is that a force field? Are those switches? Oh, I guess that bloop noise is sort of the, um... 
Oh, there we go. Um, 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 this bloop, the bloop noise store, they're like, you can't do that kind of thing. What if we stun it? Nope, doesn't seem to. What if we zap it? Nope, doesn't seem to. And then, I don't think we have anything else applicable. Okay, well, let's get some dose going. Combat dose. Love these names. I do wish we had some music, um, but uh, such is life. The other thing is, like, you kind of have to keep moving the mouse to keep it moving. And I keep wondering if it's really supposed to be like this. Oops, I thought I had my laser armed. Ah, I'm out of range. Oh, wait. There's a switch out there. Can I get to it? Oh, whoa! It's not a switch. Is that a key? Here, let's arm it. Center pass. Oh, uh, I'm going to the town center then. Okay. I'm just gonna hundred percent this game if if nobody minds. If everyone's cool with that, I'm just gonna just gonna hundo purse this. Interesting that the center pass looks exactly like apparently what I'm going to put it in. Wait, authorization checked. Oh, tell me this is the Oh nope, I thought it was gonna do copy protection, but I guess not. That's right, the copy protection was at the beginning. Bonk. This is a uh, uh, kind of poorly translated, but uh, I'm guessing this. I'm guessing this game is from about 1992. Maybe. Must be the famous bar. It, it is it. I guess this place here. Welcome to the Centaurians Bar. <sighs> Please tell me this is going to put me into, like, a completely drawn two-dimensional, like, adventure game environment. Please do that. Oh, yeah, 1991. Okay, yeah, it does say that. Uh, it's probably accurate, I would guess. Yes! Yes! That's exactly what it did! This just gets better and better. Uh, real quick, who developed this? Oh, this is from Cocktail Vision? Th that makes it what, French? Oh, yeah, um, I'm reading the, uh, little, uh, blurb here, and it says, as you pilot your spacecraft, so I guess we'll get that, uh, around the planets and stars, engaging in space combat and conversations with other characters, you unravel a Conquer the Universe plot. So this is actually a video game. It's not just, like, Elite, where you just do stuff forever. This is actually a video game. Sorry, that sounds mean, but I just, you know. This game is, yeah, this game is just 100% right down the middle, bowling strikes. I'm your contact on Kaiser. Oh, outstanding. That's convenient. Is that... Bad news. Dale has disappeared. Okay, I was like, is he going to say something else? Ask that weird beside me. Okay, this guy? Okay, so I guess this guy. I know took Dale. Let's trade a gravitic bomb. Oh, it's not... Is it... Nyark, Nyark. <laughs> He's Nyarking at me. See you in another game. Wow, we've got some LucasArts shit going on here. Click. Clack. I can turn the TV off. This game's good. What's going on? This can't be right. Oh. Did I get a drink? Or, for, or, or some food? Your health. Not sure what's going on that side of the experience. Okay. How do we leave? 
How do I leave? Is it that? No. How do I leave? See you in another game. Your health. Oh, I'm like, am I high-fiving somebody with a, a tentacle over there? What's going on? How do I leave? You've got to go to the factory. You'll find this. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. You have to finish talking. Wow. I'm... I would say I'm easily amused, but I'm not. <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to amuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. Okay, I gotta look this up on MOBA games. And let's see. Uh, oh, is this German? Or is that just a German ver? Okay, no, it's definitely French. And whoa, this was ported to the PC. Wow, I'm surprised I've never heard of this. I'll bet the PC version has music. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be a dick and go find out. <laughs> Advanced Galactic Empire DOS. Click. Oh, is this, is this going to be somebody else? Oh, there's no game audio there. Uh, wow, kind of nobody else has video of this. Yeah, and the only music is during the intro. But yeah, 3D Builder, Mid Perfect, Integrator, Bitmap Graphic. I don't speak any other languages except English. Uh, I see. Okay, this is not this is not the game cover I'm looking at. This is an ad in a German magazine. Okay, that explains things. Anyway, good night, Garrett. Have a good one. <laughs> but yeah, um, hey, look, the Amiga has never let me up before. It has only ever let me down. So. Uh, correct. Yeah, that's basically the sitch. You know what? Actually, almost all the games I've played this particular stream, um, I've had a pretty fair amount of, I, I would say, like, more than tolerance for. So, you know, um, I feel like, uh, I, I, I feel like video game is really, uh, um, redeeming itself here. And, uh, whoa. Okay, I was trying to use the gamepad for a moment, but that's not working. What is this? What? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so my oxygen is wearing down, so that's something to consider. Do I have a map? If I click on this? Oh! Well, I can zoom, but I don't seem to have a map, per se. Yeah, the, uh, the title of this stream, by the way, is, uh, from some friends of mine um who uh who like to riff on that only amiga makes it necessary because uh, it really is true there's a, a lot of obnoxious crap you have to do uh to keep an amiga working and to get stuff to work on it that you don't have to do in any other platform um oh okay so there's different there's different keys with different shapes that's why they uh they look just like the locks that they open so you know which lock they're for that's cool um but yeah uh this is kind of this is kind of um, make me a little less angry at the uh, at the platform. The funny thing is, I actually have an Amiga, but a it's not mine, and b it's really fragile. And like every time I fire it's every time I fire it up, it it there's like a twenty percent chance it actually boots. So I really want to get one of the keyboard wedge ones. All right, let's talk to this robot. Oh, the safe deposit service. Oh, please, can, is this my item chest? What? It's a free service. I bet. I bet that this is a... Mm, mm, mm. 
yes or no? Uh... Whoa, he takes all my weapons? You get your weapons back over there. Over and out. And I have a receipt? Oh, wait. Oh, the guy gave me the, the pass for that door. Okay, cool. <laughs> they mistranslated receipt to received. All right. Oops. All right, so I get my weapons back here. Why? Why is it a separate man's? Okay. <laughs> You've come back for your weapons. Your receipt, please. Uh... Oh, okay. I thought he was. I thought he was asking me. So for some reason, there's incentive at some point to deposit all your weapons specifically, but nothing else. I wonder what that's about. I wonder. Maybe you have to do that in order to get in someplace. Whoa. Greetings, mm -hmm. citizen. Mm -hmm. Central prison. Go away from here, please. <laughs> oh, man. I do wish that I had a map. I am pressing M at this time, but nothing is happening. But we're not surprised by that. Um, ooh, a dispenser. Does this dispense the health juice? Mm -hmm. No, this is mm -hmm. the combat juice. Oh. Uh, there we go. Okay. I have two combat juice. I mean, you can TNG if you want. No one's going to stop you. Survival distributor mood. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. The, um, that is true. The Amiga sound chip, um, you know, just DMAs, right? I mean, all that they do have to. Um, I mean, maybe they ran into, yeah, like memory bandwidth problems, right? Because maybe the game just, yeah. Actually, I hadn't thought about that. Maybe the game hits the RAM so hard and so constantly that uh, there just isn't time for anything else to DMA. The S two logo, what? Oh man, tell me I didn't cop somebody else's graphic. Well, yeah, but... If you're talking about just, like, to conserve them for sound effects, I, I don't really think that was necessary. This game has so little in the way of sound effects, they could play audio, uh, you know, on three, and then leave the, four, the fourth one available. Or they could um, uh, just cut one of the channels. Oop. Oh, TK, here. Okay. Um, not sure what that was about. Hmm. But I was told I should get a TK. So maybe this is where I do that? Oh. Only one triangle is lying. What? For the TK, click me. What? What? For the TK, click me. For the TK, click elsewhere. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Oh god, it's this puzzle. <laughs> Come back later. Oh no. How much later? Oh. Wait, where's the blue one? Oh, there he is. That's wrong too? What? Wah! Wow. 
What? <laughs> I'm not sure. TK. Whatever the hell the TK is. Oh, does it? Okay, well, I brute forced it anyway. <laughs> oh man, this game is real quirky. I'm uh I'm really impressed. And also it kind of makes me want to go back and try and play Eternum. See what that game was all about. Maybe finally at last. This is a huge space. I think um Oh, vehicle? That's a vehicle. the same sort of thing I'm in. Oh, is this the hangar? Do I come here to get my ship repaired? Garage Motos. We're the exhaust pipe experts. Okay. Um, can I get repaired here? Want a change of Formec? I'm not sure what that means. Is a Formec my little car? Yeah. Oops. Weapons forbidden. What? Uh, all my guns are gone. Well, it's a good thing I saved, because I think you'll like the new Formec. Well, I guess. So. Is that why the gun depository exists? Solely so that I can swap out one vehicle for another? Like, to get the, uh... That's basically how you repair in town, I guess? Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Crap for yours. I'm gonna have to come back to that, because I really... I probably should replace my Formec. Uh, oh. Who's this? Robot. Rajno pass card. Oh, but you know what? That's a, uh... That's a repair drone, though, right there. So I don't need to replace my Formex. So why would I do that? I don't get it. Servicing now. Okay. I don't seem to have a money anywhere. As far as I can tell, I don't have money cash dollars. So, I think that bit earlier about my account being debited was just a joke. Um, I don't know, but I think so. Um, maybe, but it looked the same as the thing I'm driving already, so I don't know. Okay, so that's the gate the guy was talking about. You need a rack now key for. Looks kind of similar to the TK. I was given a pass for the TK gate. No, I'm sorry. I was, uh, bleh. I was given a pass for the gate uh, that's got the two little checkers. Uh, that's what I've got down there. But, um... I haven't finished exploring the town. There's a lot to do here. It's like a shocking amount to do here. I'm really impressed. This game is an effort post. I also wonder if the uh, the constant clunking from the floppy drive is actually it streaming data or if it's like an emulator bug or something. I think it could go either way. All right. Okay, so is this a off-limits area? <laughs> Greetings. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I got a badge, which is... Audience? Okay, that's probably what he just gave me. Yeah, so I got a, an audience badge. And you know what? Um... I'm now realizing, I think I understand how the Express uh, works. I think that's going to teleport me to whatever 
gate key I put into it. Oh, okay, we're finally done exploring the town, I think. Because this is the bar again. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go back here. Yeah, I wish the movement was a bit quicker. Um, and, like, I can actually... I can use the joystick uh, to move quicker. I just can't do anything else with it. So maybe I'll start doing that. All right. Um, let's go ahead and save. And then express station. Okay, and it doesn't say what. If we plug this in... Nope, doesn't work. Okay. What if we plug this in, which we were told... Uh, there we go. I'm pretty sure I was told to use the TK at the express station. Nope, doesn't seem to work. Okay, let's try the audience pass. Hmm, do I have to get in it? Oh! Activate your TK on destination. Oh, wow, we get in here, and then we can see several different destinations. What? What? Okay, so, uh... So is that it? Is the TK... Ah, okay. Weird. So you've got to be holding these things to, um... you got to be holding these things for them to be available there, but use the TK to pick one. So destination is return to shuttle. So this is where I started. Ah, okay. And then that is the symbol for the town center, which makes sense. So we'll go ahead and go back. Uh, this game is Advanced Galactic Empire for the Amiga, and it is, very sadly, one of the first Amiga games I've ever played that I actually liked. <clears throat> All right. So now, let's do what he suggested. Have you an audience badge? Ah! So this one... I suspect we just need to put the audience badge here. Let's see. Okay, do we need to... You wanted to see the governor. The governor will receive you. Oh, weird. Okay, so some of them require uh, keys. Separate from the, the ones you're carrying. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is on planet. This is, um... Yeah, local teleportation. I dig it. Oh, that's the governor! What? Why? Why is that the governor? That's Conrad Lanassi! Okay. Be careful of the priests. Alright. The techno's are out of control. This guy has a lot of advice for me about the current political cl climate. I know for your friend. Oh, okay. Okay, go in peace. Alright, I've met the mayor. Yeah, this guy, cool F. Yeah, I agree that the wireframe um, look is, is really due to come back. Like, as far as, you know, games, etc. Yeah, uh, the artist was, you know, uh, somebody at Cocktail Works. Cocktail Soft, whatever it is. Okay, uh, so now we're here. Um, I guess you want to... Oh, so that's an interesting question. Where does this take us? Does this just warp us to the... to that gate? Destination refused. Do we need a key? Oh, I know why. It's because we haven't opened that gate yet. Yep. So I bet that if we go open that gate, 
and then uh, come back here, that'll work. So let's get over to that gate, which I think is just uh, not here. You know, I've actually been doing a little bit of uh, Lightwave 3D, but not on the Amiga. Uh, only the NT, uh, NT4 and on uh, version, because uh, I actually I got a video toaster, but not not the Amiga one. I got a Windows video toaster because New Tech actually made those, and um, I'm working, trying really hard. Um, to get a hold of the other models because there's a whole there's a whole wild story that happened here that nobody knows anything about except me and uh, like seriously it's completely undocumented nobody nobody has nobody has said anything about this this whole this whole business um, but the end result is that yeah I've got a um, actually not one of the earliest versions of Lightwave for the PC because they actually ported it in like early 1995. Um, did I talk to this guy already? I don't remember talking to this guy. Oh, with a TK from the administration, you can get around the town fast for the authorized places. Over and out. I haven't been this way before. I have not explored the whole town. Damn it. It's so much work to explore the town. Anyway, um, but uh yeah so i've got i've got an actual video toaster package with the video toaster version of lightwave uh but it's about version five something i think um and uh it's relatively nice all things considered although the later versions are definitely a lot a lot better Okay, so that's off limits. That's the prize on. And then this is that. So I'm going the wrong way. So I need to go back this way. So I remember I came in and the doorway that I need to go through was like right next to the entrance. So I think it's up here um, just east of the bar. Yeah, I think this is it. <coughs> Pardon me. Whoa. Interesting. So that's another one of these little cars, I think. Let me go check him out. Is he an enemy? Oh, no, that's a dispenser. Dispenser here. Okay, so that's presumably that's night vision, one assumes. Oh man, it's so much easier to move using the joystick. It's in it's it's interesting because I, I don't know if this was intended, maybe it was, but um I'm actually playing with both simultaneously by uh oh I just realized my shields are like way down. Let's fix that. Jeez. Um sorry, I uh I don't know if this would have been possible on the Amiga, but I'm playing with the joystick in my left hand and the mouse in the right, and it works really well. I kind of think that uh, probably was not feasible, because I think you had to use the joystick and the mouse in the same port, didn't you? Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. Whoa! I'm about to get murked as soon as they fire. There we go. I'm kind of worried about attacking something that I, I don't actually need to fight. Um, I worry that this is the kind of game that would allow that, that kind of shenanigan. Oops. We need, to, we need a combat dose. Okay. 
I guess that dose is spent. Oops, let's turn the laser on. Okay, we got another dispenser here. I think I saw a big guy over there I have to fight. Oh, maybe, uh, oh, I just realized I can probably see who's regular. Huh. I wonder what that does. Um, I can probably see who's an enemy and who's not by looking at the radar, I just realized. So I need to keep that in mind. Regular. Let's see, what does that do? I was thinking that it might uh, might refill my air, but it doesn't seem to be. Wait, so is that guy not an enemy? Oh man, I think I killed one of these guys earlier and I didn't need to. Hail, noble imperial lord. Aw oh, man, I may have missed a opportunity for an upgrade by killing a guy earlier. This is what I'm talking about. Video games. Uh, video games, alright. So, looks the same. <laughs> hmm. Don't know what that does. Alright, let's uh, proceed up this way and get an item. Help yourself. Oh, more grenades. Inventory full! Finally, it had to happen. Uh, and I hit that to drop it. Okay, so is there anything we can get rid of? I guess I don't need the combat dose that's empty. There we go. Um, uh, there shouldn't be any echo. Nobody else has men m mentioned any echo. Okay, already went to that one. I think this is the only path left. Ah, oh, this path is narrow. Oops, I better get the laser back. Okay, yeah, I think it's your... I think it's your uh, setup, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, I encountered one of them earlier, and I shot them, and I did not need to. Have you got a pass? Yes. What happens if I say no? Wah! Choker voice damaged. Twelve. <laughs> uh, what's with these ground tits? Whoa! Uh, well, I don't see an indication for an enemy. Arrest! Hey, that tickles. Yeah? I kinda don't wanna shoot it. I can't remember if I saved or not, so I'm gonna save again. I don't think I had saved, I think I forgot to. Okay, you win. Oh, okay, and then it just opens. Huh. This game is full of, like, new mechanics. It just keeps doing new things instead of old things that I've already done. The joystick is making this so much more playable. Oh, is that a repair boy? A uh, repair bay? I guess I don't really need it. But I do need to rebalance my weapons. I don't think that I auto generate energy like X Wing. I think that that I think that that slider down there just controls how strong my laser is. Now the techno factory is in sight. Is it? Okay. 
Object, yeah. So I think we have a, a bit of a... Yeah, this is an object puzzle. Okay. So, what do we have that might be useful here? Um, we have a regular. And we also have a decompressor. And vision night, one assumes, is night vision. Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. That doesn't seem to do anything. And then just for kicks, let's see what this is about. Anti-gas screen. Okay, I think that's all I've got. Sorry for the beep. Oh! It's vision night. It's exactly what it says it is. Alright. Maybe that'll be useful at night. Uh, okay, let's proceed. I don't think that I get anything other than health from the health station, so I don't think there's any point going there. Oh, this is an express station. This is uh, the one that that uh, other zone dingus would go to. Uh, so I would need to equip the TK for this to do anything. Let's do that just in case this is a return path. Destination refused? Really? Huh. So, there's something I haven't done here, then. Hey, Lynx. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm supposed to shoot this? Oh. 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 It came down. Or I went up. I'm not sure. I guess you just walk into it and then it drawbridges. Oh yeah. Yeah, it lifted me up. Look at that. Okay. Oh, I get it. Those are little elevators. Okay, okay. Oh, there's the factory, folks. Huh. My speakers are pretty much turned off, I thought, but maybe... Yeah, maybe they're not. Alright, well, see if that's any better. Maybe I'll see some headphones, okay. Now, these... Okay, those are enemies. Those are the green dots. Oh, giant enemy crab! It's actually called a crab with a K. Oh shit, we're out of juice. We need a dose. Inventory. I don't know if I don't know if it's paused right now. So Okay. Let's try again. Preparing the Krabby Patty. Got that one. I don't exactly know why I'm here attacking this place, but I did hear that the robots had gone crazy, so maybe that's what's up. Uh, but this robot isn't mad at me. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. Heck no. Greetings. Put your TK. Oh, he gave me a bypass route. Okay, I guess uh, I'm welcome here. Cool. This game's good! What's going on? So is that the only reason I'm here? Can I not, uh... Can I not go inside? Or maybe I need to use this. Helmet required! Oh, I, don't, I think that's a joke. I think it's a bit. God damn it. Everybody was hearing it, but nobody, nobody noticed. Oh man, look at where we are. There's people here. Alright, what are we doing? Um, 
can't enter here. If a robot sees you, the robots are in control. Well, those don't look like robots down there. Let's see one. Took over three months ago. Oh, okay. So the humans are... Oh! Brown. The Technopopess? The Technopopus? <laughs> Alright, have a good night, Joseph. Karen Gestalt. Oh, we're here to get the bomb. Gift for the Empire. But, it's to fix the robots. <laughs> okay. Getting ourselves a little bit of a mission here. Get to Techno City. A fusion gun? I got a new weapon? Weapon, 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 pawn. Oh, thank you, Dreamer. I appreciate it. Uh, I was afraid that people were going to be really mad at me for that, but only a few people were really mad at me for that. You know, I think that was the Techno Girl boss. I don't think there's any argument with this. I, I think it's like a just an undeniable fact. Alright, so I was given a plasma gun, or fusion gun, but what's interesting to me is, what if my inventory had been full? Then what? Also... Why can I see all these if my inventory is supposedly li uh, whatever? So fusion gun. Okay, yeah. So as expected, it's just the laser, but more. Hmm. Okay. Oh wait, where am I? Oh, I'm back at the bar. Why am I back at the bar? Oh, I just realized uh, it's been almost three hours. That would be why I'm getting tired. Wow, that's what time it is. Uh, in a few minutes here, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for the night. Um, but uh, this has been a blast. I'm really upset that I'm actually enjoying this. Whoa, everything changed! Okay, so I'm here to find out from these people, one assumes, our church has a dark? Oh, the rack now pass. Cool. Cool, I've got that now. Oh, there's somebody playing space pool back here. You see that? That wasn't even here before. What? Are these two the same? <laughs> I kind of pride myself um, when it comes to these old um, you know home computer video games whatnot I kind of pride myself on having the patience to uh, figure out how to actually enjoy them rather than, you know, just kind of play it for a bit and then get pissed off and, and go like, oh, this sucks. Like, you know, a lot of people don't put the time in to uh, figure out, you know, like they go, okay, this game sucks, you know, it's clunky, etc. This looks like a big drag. I'm not going to play it. And I decided that when I find a game that looks like it has some real depth to it, I want to actually put the time in and figure out where it goes. And I really have not been disappointed. It generally ends up being... Oh! Wait. Oh! Hello! Sorry, hang on a second, folks. Uh, there's new news. Hello! Hello! 
she there she is that's her everyone look everyone observe hello 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 oh hello hello oh two of them two of them everyone two of them two of them okay now now let's just see Oh, they're at like a, a weirdly low energy level, so I can't get them to two of them. Oh, oh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, they're just like not really going for it. Wow. Well, and that's my point, Dreamer. You know, I, I. You know, I do believe that a lot of games were bad even for the time. Like I've, you know, I've definitely spoke to some people, British gamers who were, you know, playing games back then, uh, who said like, yeah, I hated them all, but I had nothing else to do, so we played them. We didn't know there was anything better, um, and or we couldn't get it, so you just had to play what you had. But then there's stuff that, yeah, it's clunky and yeah, it's time consuming, but it's also actually good, and that's. That's the stuff that I'm looking for, and um, I'm happy every time I find something like that where it's really worth the payoff, you know? She fell over. She's defective. Look at this. These cats can't even stay standing. She hates this. She hates it. She hates it when I touch her and rub her chest and her belly. She detests that. Look at this. This, cats only do this when they're very distressed. What about you, Udon? Pets? Come here. No? You just gonna be a goblin? You gonna be a goblin? You gonna be a goblin? You gonna be a goblin? Oh. Oh, she got back up. Wow. These are the some of the most falling overest cats I've ever had. Like, I did not need to knock her over. She would have done it anyway. That's Soba on the left, and that's Udon on the right. You can remember their names by using the mnemonic Soba is on the left and Udon is on the right. You little dick! Stop. I'm going to push you over. Oh, no, you don't want to fall over. That's fair. Two of them, everyone. Two of them. There they are. More than one. All right. Uh. All right. Let's finish what we came here to do without running over Soba, who is always underfoot. My God, this cat. Uh, all right. So the I think the last gate is over here. Oh, I can give them things to claw, but they're not going to claw because uh, they're not going to claw them because they are trying to get my attention is the thing that's going on. That's that's what's actually going on. Using the fast forward to get past this so we can move on. All right. This is one of the best, like, flat shaded polygon games of this sort that I've ever played. As far as, like, having stuff to do and, like, you know, game mechanics and, 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 and just generally, like, having a personality and not just being like, yep, here is a virtual three dimensional space if you'd like that. Okay, I've been, I've been told the priests are nuts. 
And I'm guessing that's a priest. Wow. Uh, lovely day. Oh, okay. Watch out for the mine. Okay, so, like, Rachnow's a god? I guess? I'll have to keep that in mind. Save state. Alright, so there's a mine over here somewhere. I wonder where that is. I'm probably going to find it by stepping on it. I'm going to stick to the side of the road in case that helps. I can probably see it. Oh, did they use Freescape for the previous one? Huh. Let's get a combat dose. Oh, there we go. Inventory full. Okay. So, let's go to... Hmm. Interesting. What do we do now? Survival is full. Um, I think that says oxygen 70, so there's not enough there to... Well, there's too much there to, to blow. Um, I guess... I'd rather have the combat dose than anything else, so I think I'm actually going to just throw away this grenade. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to find out what the grenade is all about. Oh wow, that was kind of unceremonious. Okay. Alright, so let's take that. Wait. Oh my... Oh! I think that means you can only carry a certain amount of any given type of thing. Yeah, because I definitely freed up a slot. Well, the reason it's... Um, uh, the reason it's Imperial Galactic is, like, eventually I get to fly to other planets, and I'm here as, like, an envoy from somewhere else. So. Huh. So, what do I do exactly? Re... This combat dose scenario because I would like to have more. Yeah, inventory full. I'm not allowed to have more. Weird. Um, that's really strange. So I was told to watch out for the mine, and I think the mine is that thing. And rather than shoot it, I'm just gonna see if I can skip it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, this is just one planet. If there's multiple planets and they're like this, then there's a lot to do in this game. And yeah, that's that's a big game for the era. Big, complex, and... Uh, uh, ambitious. That's the important thing. Ambitious. You know me. That's my highest praise. And I think this game deserves it. Okay, so there's definitely baddies over here. Soba, stop it! Quit! The other one does not do that, just Soba. She can be a real pain in the ass. Now what's interesting is, this is going to give me another survival uh, dose. Can I store this? Nope, finally, inventory full. <sighs> Alright, hang on. Can that be true? Let's try... Okay, so let's do some experiments here. So if I throw out this one, then I'll be able to pick up that one, right? What? Inventory full. What? What do you mean? What, what do you mean inventory full? But it isn't. What? What do you mean? But I just took it out. Why can't I put it back? All right. Well, that's very frustrating. Uh, there's something going on. That, you know, I have a theory, which is I may have been given a quest item that occupies an inventory slot. Um... And, uh, and if your inventory is full when you receive it, the game just forcibly gives it to you anyway. 
um, but actually exceeds your inventory capacity in the process, and then we end up in this situation. Holy crap! That was 66 damage. Now, what are those? Decoration, I guess. Okay, well, the fusion gun definitely doesn't waste any time. The grab arms got what it takes, and what it takes is Marzipan's purse. Wah! Arch. Looks like a religious site. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Okay. I love the uh, uh, the draw distance flicker. It's really good. Okay, here's this guy. Uh, we're on the same page. So that's the rack now. Object of some money. It's the rack now. Oh, I don't know that I can. Act I don't think I have a button to give you money. I, I would. Reflect before meeting Rack now. So, is he gonna be a dude? Oh, we're about to see a guy! Uh, like we saw earlier, when we met the mayor. Oh, oh. Oh man. Well, it's not too late. A dude might still appear. Okay, this is a cinematic, so. Ramp. Oh. Oh, is it dude time? <laughs> there he is. Okay. And I can click on things. I'm gonna... Father Leo sent me a telepathic message. You want a dark for the tech test? Hey, Saraku. Wait, was I supposed to talk to that guy? What? What's going on in the middle of the room? There's some wild stuff. I should have clicked on that guy. Oh. It's only the hermit controls the dark. Island of the desert with his pet octopuses. Your vessel will take you. Oh, okay. Wait, is that it? I don't get to talk to anybody else? Wah! Careful, you'll be left in the desert. Whoa! We're actually getting a map! Is that my ship? Yeah, it's 3D. Careful, you'll be left in the desert. What does that mean? I don't know, but actually fleshing out the world like this is pretty dope. This is all on a single floppy disk. This is a feat of compression. Are we going to get a different, uh, like, biome now? Ah, oh, it looks the same to me. It doesn't look like anything at all. Oh, wait. Oh, we're not... Are we not locked to a road now? We're just sort of in the middle? Huh. What does that mean for our hero? Is that animated? It is. Oh, no, it's not. It's just like calculation errors. Okay. If I step onto this road, am I going to get locked to it, I wonder? Okay, I'm on it. You know... It's not out of the question that I just didn't try hard enough to go off the road. Maybe it actually wasn't that hard. Alright, well, 
this has been a lot of fun, but obviously the game just continues here. So hopefully um, I'll have another stream where I do more of it. But that was a blast. I had a really good time. Um, and uh, uh, I'm glad you all hung out with me while I was having that good time because uh, that enhanced the experience. And yeah, um, I had a surprisingly good time on the Amiga today and I'm glad that I finally found something that redeems this platform for me. Because trust me, I have tried. Um, I have struggled. I, I have been playing Amiga games um, on and off for almost 20 years at this point. And in that whole time, I never found anything that I really enjoyed. Not really. So this is um, honestly very encouraging because I didn't want to think that there was a game platform where all the games were just garbage. But I had tried and tried and tried, and I couldn't find anything good. And the average quality was lower than on other platforms, in my opinion. So um, I really thought it was possible. Um, <laughs> HSR, I think, is Homestar Runner. Because that is the reference I was making at the time. Um, anyway, uh, but um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm surprised, but pleasantly surprised. So yeah, we'll do more of this. All right, thanks everyone. Um, have a good night. I'm gonna go eat an apple. <laughs>